all right uh morning uh would like today i would like to show you what how to import the cassandra data from the land and survey and then uh how to automatically import it to the espa system so there's this command here called uh, if you go to the pull down menu and uh, you go to the draw pack and this is the command place pack and draw site boundary using text file from the lesson then in survey this is the command called place pack okay once you click this uh, you have a write up make sure that you turn off your object snake and then so UCS must set to work before you run and your drawing unit must be in meter because the data from uh, land and surface is in meter and then uh, type this command and you need a text file or CSV file the format must follow by the number comma x comma y so I already have the data file which is at here okay it's a <coughs> not, this, not this format sorry uh, this is a bit of spacing so open back so it's at the same sample data I have it under CSV format let's me go through already a CSV change all right so you must have a number which is the number of the, the pad uh, okay and then the coordinate for the X and Y okay as long as this format is in this pattern uh, this coordinate is actually uh, uh, given through uh, when you buy the land and survey that they give you this data uh, you can just retype it or export it to a text file any notepad file okay and then just key in placing the semicolon in between with the number that you have assigned okay let's save it to a csv file in this case remember this is the file name called csv okay one is ready right we just need to call that file which i located at science and uh, pack data and i put it under this one. okay i just need to open it and uh, the the drawing automatic draw this line is actually drawn out okay the one in yellow color so they asked me to draw the pack size so in this case uh I key in uh, 0.35 the size is 0.35 meter and uh, follow up by you see there's a small circle was drawn in the size of 0.35 and they asked me about the text height I can pick two point or I can uh, uh, key in the height okay maybe I key in the height of 10 All right so you there is a text automatic draw with a height of 10 All right okay and in the this boundary here so and this is how you can easily import all this coordinate here okay maybe I change the color for the number 8 here I just list it out the coordinate is this particular let's refer back to our file that we have imported okay so go to number 8 so number 8 is here so it's 2026 8816 so it's rounded it the figures right depend on the decimal point so because they give you one two three four too many decimal points here also same thing five one five two four two nine zero seven six zero okay so depend on the drawing the accuracy is i prefer before you run this set to six decimal point all right so that's how easy the system will automatically draw for you and import it to the location that you want all right and all these things you can actually move it and then convert it to a layer that uh, follow the ministry sop standard called site boundary all right you just move it to the site boundary and become a site boundary component all right uh, but not for those those tag circle yeah yes, because this information is required all right that's all from my side thank you